Um, do, you, but do people ask you, do they say, would you do, if they have a child, do they ask you to do the voice? Do they ever, I mean, I know that that's not something necessarily you'd want to do, but I wonder whether. Sometimes, I remember in the first film, I had to put my finger into Daniel Radcliffe's Harry Potter's forehead. And I had to say the words like, I can touch you now. Oh. Jesus oh, Christ. I've got, I've got chills then. Yeah. Oh, my one trank. <laughs> 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 but what a great film series to be a part of. Oh, I mean, fantastic. do you ever think, OK, I have to not be too scary? Because these are, you know, in part at least designed for children. Not, not solely, but they are in part. Do you I think... wanted him to be really as scary as it could be. Um... <laughs> And I think one of the most successful proofs that I remember of it being scary was when I walked past the, the little child who was the son of the script supervisor, and this little boy was sitting in the dark. And I just walked past and didn't even have the... I had my nose, I had, I had the makeup, basic makeup. And I just looked, and this little boy burst into tears. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Fantastic. I've yeah. got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that little boy, Jack, is here today. <laughs> Still terrified. You're still terrified. I could have been. I, I could. I auditioned for Harry Potter. This is true because I was the same age and I auditioned. And I was apparently quite close, and in the end, they went with that bloody Emma Watson instead. <laughs> <laughs>